Hi, this is Arshad Devani. I'm a tech speaker and an entrepreneur. As part of this particular workshop, we are going to start utilizing Olama to go ahead and run our LLMs locally. And we are also going to start looking at how you can make the prompts even better by answering those five questions. And then we are also going to start getting rid of internet altogether now because we are going to run everything locally on this particular PC. As part of this workshop, we are going to use MSI Raider 18HX AI, which is powered with latest Intel Core Ultra 9 processor series 2, coupled with the NVIDIA Blackwell GeForce RTX 5090 laptop GPU with a total TDP of 260 watts. Uh, this powerhouse ensures uncompromised speed for gaming, AI workloads and content creation. Featuring a stunning 18-inch 4K mini LED display with 120Hz refresh rate, it is crafted for creators and it elevates experience for all the gamers. The addition of Super Raid 5 SSD technology ensures blazing fast storage performance, enabling quicker load times and seamless multitasking. Now, as part of this video, which is part of a 4 series workshop, we are going to go ahead and look how you can create beautiful outputs using prompts. Now, it is important that you create the right prompt for the right output. And if your prompt is beautiful, then your output will definitely be beautiful. So, to create a right prompt, you need to answer five questions. What, where, how, when, and which. Let's try to create a prompt. First, we are going to note down the questions. What, where, how, when, which. Now let's try to think about a video. So let's think about, I love cars by the way. So, and I love to see drifting. So let's try to create a video of uh, car drifting. Now let's think about other, other scenarios. Where do you want to see this particular car drifting? How will be the scenario be, uh, the cinematic view of it will be. So let's think about all of those things and let's try to put it up all as part of this particular set of questions. So what do we want? We need a video script. So we are going to say create a video script of five seconds. We don't want a lot. Where? Uh, I love Dubai. So we are going to say Dubai in Dubai. How? So we are going to say, uh, let's say, for example, how uh, we want to see it drifting. We want to see it drifting after the car comes towards the screen. When it should be like a sunny or let's say something about at the sundown or something of that sort. So let's say during the sun setting and which I love Mercedes. So we are going to say Mercedes AMG. So now you can see that we have answered some of the questions and based on this, we can create the prompt. So what we are going to do is now we are going to basically copy all of these things and let's try to create the whole script in a very good way. So create a video script of five seconds in Dubai where we want to see it drifting after the car comes towards the screen during sun setting the car should be Mercedes AMG. Now, this is how you would generally create a prompt. It is having a lot of detailing already as part of it, but let's also create some negative prompting. So what is negative prompting? Imagine that you want something, but what in case if you don't want it to be part of your output, that is nothing but negative prompting. So you always need to give out some level of negative prompting to ensure that your output is well set the AI understands it well. And when the understanding is well, you will see the way how the output will come out. Now I'm going to put up a couple of things here. So we are going to say, uh, there should not be any other car in the video. 
uh, the video should not be blurry and the third one which we are going to see is uh, there are no there shouldn't be any form of deformities there shouldn't be any form of deformities uh, I think this is a very good prompt now ideally you would utilize a tool like Gemini or probably chat GPT or any of the other LLMs which you would directly use it on your systems or via your phones but uh, now let's take a bit step forward so think about it when you're trying to create some beautiful ideas and everything and you're not fully sure whether that data is being utilized or not it's okay not everyone uses your data but then imagine a case wherein you want to keep things to yourself you would want to have these things running on your system when you want to run things on your system there is definitely a way which we are going to look at in a couple of seconds but then you would definitely want to have something which is there running on your system to make sure that this is not going anywhere in order to do that you need to have good cpu as well as gpu so to create that now imagine a case because we are going to utilize this particular content and the script for a later use case in our upcoming workshop as well so when you want to do all of these things at that point of time you'll want to ensure that you have some of the items uh, available as part of your local system and uh, in order for you to do that you need to have a good cpu and gpu so the gpu is generally used to generate the images and videos at a very high level there are some definitely models which can run natively on your cpu itself some very small models and that can also generate this but then we are going to look at the ways how the data gets generated here and the way how we can utilize this so let's copy this but we are going to run this on our local system and uh, the best way and the most uh, used way these days is using Olama. So in order for you to go ahead and utilize Olama, it's quite simple. It's not that difficult for you to utilize. I'm pretty much sure you might have downloaded one or the other desktop applications of any of the LLMs. Uh, Olama is just similar to that. So all you got to do is go to olama.com. Uh, so it's this particular website where you can check out olama.com. You'll be able to find all the different types of models. Uh, but before going on to that, let's click on download. This will take a couple of seconds to download. So you can select out of Mac OS, Linux or Windows, whichever system you are utilizing. Uh, click on download for Windows because right now I'm using Windows based system. So you can download for Windows and then uh, after the download happens, go ahead and install. Make sure you read the terms and conditions. Nothing fancy there, but then uh, go ahead and make sure that you read the terms and conditions. So download, download and install and uh, this is what you would see i already have it installed on my system and this is how it looks so you'll be able to see the different set of models which are available my personal favorite is gemma 3 we'll look at uh, all the different types of models which are available and uh, what are the users of this as well but then uh, to start and initiate of anything you can go ahead and select one of the models and just type a message hit enter this is going to take a couple of seconds i'm going to use gpt oss 20 billion for this one or uh, we can also use uh, Gemma okay let's select Gemma 3 12 billion uh, I'm just going to say hi and hit enter so for the first time whenever you're going to do this it is going to download the model now 7.6 GB is going to take a couple of minutes to uh, you know download and load it up for us but then uh, while this is happening let's go ahead and look at some of the other items let's look at all the different types of models which we have uh, so while you look at it, so when you click on the models, you'll find all the different types of models which are available. GPT OSS is one of the latest models which is available. You can see it is just updated four days ago. Uh, already has 1.1 million pulls. Uh, it has 20 billion parameters and 120 billion parameters which you can go ahead and utilize. DeepSeek, pretty much sure you might have heard about it. DeepSeek is one of the most famous models which is there. Uh, it is giving quite a good competition to all the other models out there and then uh, you have Gemma 3 which is my personal favorite uh, let's look at how and what all things it has to offer so Gemma 3 is one of those models which is by Google and uh, it gives you both text and image capabilities so you can do computer vision related things 
OpenCV and all of those things you might have heard about it. So a lot of times you see right uh, you are searching for something you have an image and out of that there are a lot of descriptors and everything which are coming in. So let's say for example if you like a good uh, apparel somebody has worn or probably you have seen some image on the internet you utilize that you try to search out of that it will try to tell you the colors and everything or you can give any other images as well and it will tell you what all things you can do as part of it. So it has a couple of set of items so you can see that Gemma 3 12 billion which is what we are downloading it's close to around 8.1 GB it differs a bit here and there but then what you need to be uh, careful about is the context window and how many parameters it can support so uh, 12B is 12 billion parameters, 27B is 20, 27 billion parameters with a context window size of 128K. Uh, and this you can see that it can support both text as well as images. That's the beauty of it. So you can utilize just to uh, do text related output as well as, uh, oh, sorry, text related input and image related input and the output will always be in form of text. So you can utilize those uh, to go ahead and uh, do a lot of work around it. Uh, and uh, as you can see it uh, auto it also tells you about all of these uh, information saying that uh, available in 270 million uh, which is a very small one so in case if you want to use it for something like mobile devices or something of that sort so you can utilize that uh, particular model but then you have 1 billion 4 billion 12 billion and 27 billion these are the different types of uh, uh, parameters which you have and then uh, it is useful for answering summarizing reasoning and uh, it can also be deployed on uh, smaller ones as well so you can see that you know there's a small context window and when there's a lesser context window you will be able to uh, it, it will not have a longer memory it will have a shorter memory and uh, it will try to give answers based on that so multimodal I'm pretty much sure you heard about it last time. So multimodal is with uh, vision related capabilities and that could be an audio, video or images or any other uh, files as well which you can go ahead and utilize. So multimodal expands your ability to utilize all the AI or all the different LLMs whichever you have. And uh, uh, let's see what's the status of this. Okay, it has already downloaded. Uh, and it can say already it says hi there how can I help you today and we are going to ask it we are going to ask Gemma 3 to go ahead and generate the video script for us so I'm going to copy this particular uh, prompt which we have written and then control V and let's see what it does so it has started creating and you can see how quick it is it has already started creating the whole video script it has started generating the whole sequence you can see that the total length seconds is five seconds as we asked. The visual style is cinematic, cinematic, crisp, vibrant colors and clean lines with music, epic, dramatic, building intensity. I'm already loving this. Uh, and it says the visual description. You can see that each and every second is having its own visual descriptions, the camera movements, the sound, whichever it needs to be, and some notes also around it. Isn't this equivalent of saying that you're creating a movie? Imagine that you can create a whole movie using just an LLM and sitting at your system But you can create this without really utilizing internet as well It may take a longer time, but then it is doable It is definitely doable and then you can see that there are technical notes where you can talk about uh, Where it al already describes about the camera the lenses the resolution and everything now isn't this amazing? where you can actually go ahead and start utilizing an LLM to really go ahead and create a whole video description. I imagine a case wherein you are actually planning out on a movie. Imagine that you have an idea of a movie or you are already living your own story. And as part of that story, you want to create a whole movie out of it. You may definitely utilize your own self as part of that movie. But then in case if you were to utilize different other parts, uh, you want to create a script which is more Bollywood themed you can definitely do that and then uh, you can utilize an LLM to go ahead and generate the whole script for you and once the script is ready we will be definitely looking as part of some of our future workshops as to how you can utilize the script to go ahead and generate a video yes video generation is also possible locally but for that you would require a very good GPU because it will take a lot of time to generate a video uh, using AI and uh, of course there are some things which need to be taken care of and we'll look that as part of the workshop now remember like I said in the last video there is a quiz towards the end and if you get all the points right and if you get all the answers right you can win 
a lot of goodies you can win a certain set of devices i know which devices but then those are surprises for you some amazing set of devices which you can win stay tuned and make sure that you don't miss out on any of your notes because if these notes are not with you you might not be able to answer the quiz well and stay tuned for more set of workshops we are going to be soon coming back with another set of workshop series where you are going to learn about a lot of things like image generation video generation 3d model generation and uh, how you can actually go ahead and showcase this out all your production related things out to the public uh, stay tuned and we'll see you soon